Hello there, I'm Audrey. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's time to the wrap up of April. I read, well, finished 19 books in April and we're gonna go to the stats right now. So let's do the reading stats for April. I have some graphs to, sh to show you and we'll see like a summary of what happened for me in April. First of all, I started my booktube channel at the 1st of April and you can see in my books per month that I've read a lot of books in April compa compared to January. There was a really uh, pretty high uh, augmentation. I read 19 books in April. Then if we go to number of pages, well, as you can see, of course, I read more pages in April than in January. But what I want to tell you is that um, I count my audiobook as pages as for my stats, because otherwise I'll have to do like minutes read and number of pages and I don't want to separate them. So the... Um, 4701 is included my my audio books are included in this then uh, oops. then we have the days I took to finish the books if you see a zero zero means i finish it the same day so a lot of books i finish it the same days but it's because you'll see later i read a lot of graphic novel at the end of the month so we can say that most of the time i finish my book on zero to three days so that's pretty good i'm really proud of this and um, yeah i'll try to continue to doing that then we have the origin of the book. So where does the book came from? Um, a lot of the books, as you can see, came from my library. And the other is my shelf. I tried to, uh, to uh, augment the books I read from my shelves because I have a lot of books that I haven't read on my shelf and I want to, well, read them. <laughs> so, um, that's about it. It's sure that I borrow books from the library because if I borrow books from the library, that means I don't buy them. And I try to refrain myself from buying too much books. Uh, I borrow them from the library and it fixes the problem. Then we have the format. So I read two audiobooks, six physical books and 11 ebooks. And it's normal that I read 11 ebooks because I borrow a lot from the library. So right now at these times, you know what's going on. So if I borrow from the library, of course, it's going to be ebooks. Then we have the publication, publication year. And you can see that a lot of my books are read from 2020 so I read the pretty recent books and uh, yeah most are from 2016 to 2020 so I can say that I read pretty uh, recent books and that surprised me a lot because I have a lot of books on my shelf that the, are from the 90s and um, I guess if I'm gonna read more books on my shelves this will drop uh, maybe not next month but over time then the genre the genre was pretty variated as you can see but like i said earlier i read a lot of graf graphic novels at the end of the month because i was doing a reading rush to uh, to give some points to slytherin for the owls so i read a lot of graf graphic novels and the other is my favorite genre is fantasy self-care and mystery thriller i'm surprised that i read more than horror because i prefer horror than mystery thriller but sometimes the two of them can come together and that's what I, I like the most so yeah that's not really surprising 
then and what's surprising is that I've started five series though that means that five of the books were the first in the series one of the books were the second of the series and 13 were standalone um yeah so i will have a lot of series to catch on but that's not that surprising because i love series i think you, you can go really in deep with the character and the stories so yeah i like it and finally the rating so most of the book i rate them four stars and the other is five stars so that were pretty much pretty good books i usually rate a lot of book three stars so that's kind of surprising that means i really love the books i read in april so that's about it for my stats let's go to actually what book i read and what i think of them okay so now i'll present each book i read and i'll say a little bit uh, about it and what i thought of it so you can see if it's a book that might interest you so the first one is 13 reasons why by jay asher and it's about uh, there's trigger warning about this book about suicidal thoughts uh, physical abuse and a uh, and, uh, things like that. It's about a girl who committed, who committed suicide and just before she did it she recorded some tapes and it's the story of a guy who listened to those tapes. It's kind of dark. It plays a lot on the mental health and um, psychological evolution here. Like how you can go from really happy to like not feeling well and feeling really sad so i really love this book because you know i love dark things and i gave it four stars it's a ya contemporary then we i have my list here <laughs> because 19 books i can remember just like on my head the next was The Universe As Your Back by Gabrielle Bernstein. It's a non-fiction book, a self-help book, and it's about trusting like the universe or whatever you want to call it and not letting the fear decide for you or control you and just trust that life will be there for you and that everything will be fine. So it was fine, I love it, I gave it four stars and it gives you tips and meditation and things like that. It was fine, it was a little bit repetitive but I like it and I recommend it. Then we have This Book Will Make You Calm. It's a book, uh, it's a non-fiction book, a self-help book. The Others are Jessamy Ibert and Joe Osmore and it's about uh, how to keep low levels of stress in your life and when you are stressed what to do with it and there's a lot of tips in this so it's a small book but it contains a lot and I really loved it. it I gave it four stars. Then there's The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. The Assassin's Apprentice is about, um, it's a fantasy novel. It's the first of a series. And it's about a guy who, um, a bastard who got adopted by the king. And then he, he is trained to be like an assassin. Um, I... I finished it and it was fine but I but not over the top I gave it three stars because I found out that like the main character I found it a little bit like stupid <laughs> it had he had years of training and then it didn't show on his decisions and like the credibility of the character wasn't really there for me I didn't really like Fitz, sorry for those who like him <laughs> so I won't continue this series and uh, yeah 
I'll move on. Then there was Miss P. Green Homes for Peculiar Children uh, by uh, Ransom Riggs. This was an audiobook that I borrowed from the library and I finished it but I didn't really like it. Uh, it was not really what I expected. I was like, I wanted more creepy, dark stuff. And once like the revelation was made, it was more like really for me like a children's book. So yeah, I don't want to say much, but it's about a guy who follows the steps of his grandfather to discover all the stories he was told when he was young by him and then he goes to an island and discovers some stuff yeah but I don't really recommend it unless you really like YA for pretty low ages so yeah I'm no I won't continue this series Sorry. <laughs> then I read Roses Are Red by Miranda Risch. It's a mystery thriller book and uh, I didn't like it either. <laughs> uh, well, the plot for me was too predictable and I don't like, like when I read thriller books, I want to be surprised. Um, it bothers to me when I discover where it is going on. So yeah, well I wasn't surprised and that's about it. The book is about a girl who um, is a widow and then she meets another guy and well things in her life doesn't don't go as expected and it started to get really bad and yeah that's about what I can tell you. So sorry, I don't really recommend this book. Then I read a horror book. It's Kill Creek by Scott Thomas. I gave it four stars. I really liked it. Um, it was kind of dark and creepy. It's about a, a, a haunted house. Um, and yeah, there's like people who goes to an haunted house and then things happen <laughs> of course but i found that this book contained a lot of elements i was expecting in haunted house sorry not just one or two like many so yeah i enjoy it and uh, i recommend it if you like haunted house stories then i read valley of the god by alexandra wolf and this one I didn't finish it. It's a non-story book about Silicon Valley. And well, I thought it was about this. It's, okay. It's about this, but it's more about how the big companies function and like what they do to give money and programs for people who want to start business and I was more expecting of a day-to-day -day life to the Silicon Valley so I was pretty disappointed and tired of all the numbers so I didn't finish this book I gave it one star and well if you're interested more in the big business world of the Silicon Valley it will be a good book for you but otherwise like don't pick it up Oops, sorry. Then I read The Gifts of Imperfection by Brené Brown and I really love this book. It gives you tips to uh, deal with imperfection. It's a self-care book. I give it, uh, let me check, I give it four stars and yeah it was fine. It's a small book but again it contains a lot and uh, I, I had a lot of passage I liked and this I will definitely reread it to give me tips and maybe make a summary of it. Uh, I still work with this book, I really loved it. So let's continue. Then I read The Watcher, it's an horror graphic novel by um, Ralph Tedesco and Victoria Rowe. 
and it's about a preacher's family who goes in a new town and then things happen <laughs> we can't say more about horror but uh, I didn't really like this I did I like this book? I can't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, I gave it three stars. So it was fine. It was a fine horror story. But it was pretty simple and you you can't really you couldn't really feel like all the building up things go really fast and like you you follow but you you didn't feel really what was happening. And it was kind of predictable, so mm. it's okay. Then I read Invisible Difference by Julie Dachaise. And this book, I really loved it. I gave it four star. It's about a uh, five star, sorry. It's about a girl who um, lives in a in her uh, world, kind of our world, and discover she have Asperger syndrome. So it's all the process of not being or not being comfortable, and then reaching out for help, and then dealing with the diagnostics, and then being better. And I really loved it. It's a good representation, and the art really make you feel how the character was feeling. So. I really loved it. I really recommend it. It's a it's a great book. Then I read uh, The Bond Seasons by Samantha Shannon. The Bond Seasons. I really loved it. It's a fantasy YA novel. I gave it five stars. It's about a girl who lives in a city and then she gets kidnapped and kind of see another side of the city. And then she has to learn her like her new place and how to deal with uh, the the guy who the person who is responsible for her and yeah that's about it it's kind of a dystopian kind of feeling and I loved it it was pretty good so then I read Lock Every Door by Riley Sager it's a mystery thriller book and it was an audio book for me. I, li I like it. I gave it, uh, f um, let me check, I gave it four stars and yeah, it was fine. Uh, it's about a girl who goes live in, in a mansion for like, for a job, like, as an apartment sitter and she discovered that the mansion hides secrets and yeah, <laughs> things goes from good to bad. But I really loved the narrative because it was like a mix of the present and the future and I loved it because you discovered things as it goes. Then I read Every Heart a Doorway by Sinan McGuire. This is a fantasy book and oh my god, that was so good. It's about a girl who, uh, well, it's about a lot of children who has passed doors when they were young or well they're still young for, so it's like recently they passed some doors and discover new world and then they have then they're back in the in the normal world and they have to live with that so um, and they were like changed according to the world they went they really have to deal all they are differently and how they're now back in the normal world and how people around them doesn't see the changes or doesn't accept the changes so it's a really good mental health representation and uh, yeah i really loved it i really highly recommend it and i'm pretty really really excited to continue this series i've heard the good things about the second so yeah i've placed a note on the library <laughs> Then I read Olivia's Awakening by Ronica Black. It's a fiction novel, it's a romance, uh, female-female romance. And I gave it 
four stars i really like it it's a cute story and it was my first ff romance so i'm really excited and yeah um if you if you're searching for a cute ff romance it's really good it's about a girl who uh, is divorced and then to deal with that she starts to exercise herself and then she meets another girl who becomes her trainer and then well they fall in love but what i love is that they both have their difficulties with the situation and they have to deal with stuff and you can see it all in the book all they deal with that stuff so it wasn't like immediate like let's go together and everything is fine so i really loved it then I read Betty and Veronica Senior Year and it was by uh, Jamie Lee Rotani and Sandra Lance. I gave it four star and oh well it's Archie comics and Riverdale and I read so many Archie novels when I was younger that it made me feel real nostalgia and I was like oh that's cool like I really loved it how it made me feel and I think I'm gonna go back to read some Archie because yeah I like it it's a classic for me uh, for my childhood so yay then I read Arlene that's a little bit darker right <laughs> it's a graphic novel it's about the beginnings of Harley Quinn like when she passed from psychiatrist to, well, villain. <laughs> so, oh, well, that was so good. Like, I gave it four, five stars and, oh my God. If you're interested a bit in Harley Quinn, just read it. It's just, it's really good. But it's like... I read Aquaman Volume 1, The Drowning by Dan Abbott. It's a graphic novel about Aquaman who tries to make an ambassador on Earth for making peace with like the normal humans. And it doesn't really go as he thought it will because he have enemies. So yay, things happen. <laughs> I give it four stars. I really liked it. And then I pick up the second one that Aquaman Volume 2, The Others by Jeff Johns and then I discovered that it wasn't the second one of the first I read it's just another second one yeah, like how you can be like really confused in novels in uh, graphic novels and comics but still I read it, I read it and it was fine uh, but it was less good than the first one I gave it 3 stars so maybe I'll pick up the good second one and I like it more We'll see that's about it for April I'm really happy and uh, I hope you'll continue to see my reading with me I'll continue to do reading vlogs in May yay see you later